Overnight, your favorite GPT models disappeared from ChatGPT. The upgrade felt colder, slower, and sometimes dumber. That's what Millions said about the launch of GPT-5 today. So how did OpenAI get GPT-5 so wrong? And what are some of the unforced errors they made that made users furious? OpenAI pitched GPT-5 as its smartest, fastest, and most powerful user model going. A unified system that decided when to answer fast, or when to think deeply with routing that auto-picked the right sub-model that you needed. It also claimed big benchmarks with wins in coding, math, vision and health. To make it more streamlined, OpenAI removed the model picker, pushing everyone to GPT-5, instantly retiring the entire 4.0 lineup. For power users who'd built workflows around these specific models, they felt like a rug pull, not realizing this was gonna happen. The reaction was imminent. Posts mourning 4.0's personality, utility, from bring it back to it feels like someone died, Within days online, OpenAI backtracked and reintroduced GPT-4.0. GPT-5's biggest trick was its auto-switching router. During the rollout, it broke, making GPT-5 seem dumber, according to Sam Altman's comments. That one bug amplified the sense that GPT-5 was a downgrade, slower and shorter and less helpful. Even if the core model was stronger, the routing inadvertently killed trust. OpenAI dialed down sycophancy and made GPT-5 more business-like. Great in theory, in practice, most people used GPT-4.0 for warmth, creativity, and emotional nuance. GPT-5 felt more corporate beige and users said they lost their friend. OpenAI now says it's tuned GPT-5 to feel warmer and push per user personality customization. Explicit acknowledgement of their misjudgment at how much the tone really matters. The official message touted one model's simplification and fewer hallucinations, but help center notes simultaneously detailed deprecation, routing behavior, and caps that were all about to change. The net effect, confusion about what was gone and what remained, and why old chats suddenly behaved completely differently. When people opened months-long threads and it answered completely differently because it had silently swapped to the closet GPT-5 equivalent, that's a trust hit. Even with the higher overall usage caps, GPT-5's thinking became the new pain point Users fixated on it. OpenAI's current docs limit it to 3,000 weekly messages for plush users in thinking mode. But perception stuck. I'm paying and getting less control than ever before. To its credit, OpenAI are moving fast. They brought back 4.0 for paid users, pledging advance notice for deprecation of future models, more model control, bringing back the switcher for auto fast and thinking, and personality tweaks are coming. Usage has even risen post-launch, but that doesn't erase the rollout lessons. GPT-5's tech might be great, but the shipping strategy matters. Removing choice, breaking routing, and downplaying the personality has muddled and confused this flagship launch. So what did GPT-5 change for you? Did you switch back to 4.0 when they brought it back? Drop your experience down below and I hope you found this interesting and I think it's very interesting how OpenAI actually made such a mess of what is a really good model. They spent a lot of time on coverage but actually in the end it came down to user feedback and I'll see you in the next one.